guys, welcome to Moving On TV and The Awakening. And lesson 142, I think it is today. And um, I've escaped. <laughs> I left. I'm free. Well, I need it done it for a short while really uh, friends in need <coughs> and I felt I had something to offer so I decided to do it now today's going to be called uh, I don't know what it's going to be called but today it's about letting go of victimhood and how we don't even know that we're becoming victims we, we, we don't even realize what's happening to us until suddenly we, we snap and we think, hang on a second, what's happened to my life? I've always been the kind of person that would just jump in the car, drive all the way down to Scotland if I felt like it, drive all the way back, do stopovers in the way on the way. It was my favorite pastime, freedom. I'd get an audiobook, <laughs> I'd listen to an audiobook, I'd sing everything that I could find, all my favorite music as I'm driving. And I drove all over the country. And suddenly there's me sitting in this house, complaining and whinging. I've got no life. I've got no friends. I've got nothing. What the hell's going on with me? And I thought, you know what? That's it. I've had enough. I'm not living like this anymore. And as I woke up yesterday, and I rang the Samaritans and I thought, I'm, how am I going to get through the day? I've had enough of this. This is hell. Not only is the house a total mess and I, I can't be bothered to tidy up. I haven't got any energy. I, I, I just need to do something different. And as I was talking to the Samaritans on the phone, this is good to do. Just talking, just listening, telling them how I feel. And then they all come up and, and I'd had a tarot reading as well someone had sent me really powerful tarot reading and um as i was talking to the samaritan something clicked in me i had answers that i needed um i got clarification from the tarot but i needed more than that and as i was talking to this beautiful zara the samaritan i said to her you know what when i moved to a neighborhood i was the person that would put a letter in everyone's door to say come over and meet me Let's make friends, you know, let's get to know each other. And I made friends that way. So why not go around the neighborhood and see if there's anyone, is there anybody I can talk to? I'm saying there's no one. I'm assuming. But what if I went around the neighborhood and start investigating to see whether there are any people that I could talk to? Yeah, what's to stop me? So I did. So I got dressed up really warm. I went next door and I realized that what I thought about my, other, my first neighbor, I know she's wide awake, but her family are not. So that was a, an eye opener. And then I went from some other people. I didn't really get anything from the neighbors except, well, they, they were kind of on the fence, one or two of them, but then things went further and uh, I went down. I found out that people were getting pancakes. And so I went there. And there was this massive queue on the common and everyone was masked. And, and I, I thought, no, I can't do this. I, I was the only one, never wear one, as you know, and I walked away. And then I thought to myself, um, I'll ring someone who I know is in need. I'll check out how far it is to get to her and I'll go. And that was it. That was it. I got my tire fixed on the spot. I met this amazing guy called Phil who happens to be one of us. Um, he fixed the tire in quick fit for me, paid for it, and then that was it. It was like, right, Lauren's back. And I contacted this friend and I said to her, do you want me to come? And she said, what are you talking about? I said, it's only 30 miles. I never realized you're only 30 miles away. Basingstoke, it's nothing. It's less than an hour. I mean, I'm used to driving. 10 hours to Scotland and back, you know, more than that, 20 hours there and back, yeah. And so she said, um, what do you mean? And I said, well, I'm getting in the car, I'm booking a hotel. It just happened to be a hotel right across the road from where she's staying at the moment. I'm not going to go into her story. It's very, very sad. And I, I'm trying to do something to help at the moment. 
very difficult situation. And uh, so I rang up the Holiday Inn and said, um, I booked a, a room on the spot. That was it. Got in my, fed the cats, gave them loads of food, water, everything. Got someone to come in that night, got in the car, and that was it. Lauren's back. Lauren's back. And that's what I'm saying to you is, I didn't realize that I was becoming a victim. There were things I could do. You see, this is the thing. Life coaching tells you we have alternatives, but I didn't realize that I could do this. I had forgotten myself. I have forgotten about all the things I can do. And the minute I got that tire fixed, because I was waiting on him to do it, I did it. I did it. I drove down with this bumpity, bumpity bump on the road because it was completely slack, uh, busted like me and got to the quick fit and said, can you fix it? It was empty. They did it on the spot. Apart from one guy that was nasty to me, they wouldn't let me sit in the waiting room with that one disease. I got past that because Phil came out and, you know, that was the end of it. And we chatted and we, we, we shook hands and we took his mat, his whatever, you know, his um, lanyards, I think it is. And we chatted and I made a friend in, in the, the village. I've got his phone number. I can ring any time. And so everything just flowed. Everything flowed beautifully. And that was after I had a tarot reading, which is, I needed some answers about something I really needed to know. And it was exactly what I knew. My psychic abilities had told me exactly what this person had told me. And it was brilliant in a way I didn't expect. Well, she told me what I didn't want to hear as well, but a very profound he reading. I thought she was incredible. Her name is Ethereal Empress, and I'd recommend you contact her. I think she's doing donations at the moment, but you can contact me anyway. Uh, anyway, I'm going to go now. You know what to do. Think of what you can do. I love you lots, and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.